Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika's tutorials. In the last few videos, I have discussed what is an algorithm, what are the characteristics of an algorithm, how to write an algorithm to find the roots of a quadratic equation, to find the factorial of a number. I hope you have watched those videos. If you don't know what is an algorithm or what are the characteristics of an algorithm or if you did not watch my previous videos, I request you to go back and watch the previous videos and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss what is a flowchart and what are the symbols will be used in the flowchart and how to draw a flowchart for a particular problem. All these things I will discuss in detail. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me define what is a flowchart. Flowchart is a diagrammatic representation of an algorithm. Now you may ask me, what is an algorithm? Algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure which defines set of instructions need to be executed in a certain order to get the desired output. So you have a problem. For that problem, you have the solution. Now using this solution, you will write an algorithm. Once you can easily write an algorithm, easily you can draw the flowchart. Now using the algorithm or the flowchart, easily you can convert the solution to any program using any programming language. Now you may ask me, sir, I know the problem. I know the solution. Then I can directly write in program using any programming language which I am familiar. Why should I go for this algorithm or why should I draw the flowchart? The answer is very simple. Suppose let's take that you are a civil engineer. You are good at constructing the houses. Suppose let's take that some customer came and say that, sir, this is the land I have. Please construct a 2BHK house or 3BHK house. Now what you should do first? First, before constructing the actual house, you need to show the owner that, sir, using this place, I can construct the house like this. I will use this much space for the parking, this much space for the hall. This is the place where you will keep the puja mandir. This is the place where you will sleep, your master bedroom like that. You will have to show either a video for him or you should show an animation for him or at least on a piece of paper you need to show him. So this is the size of the hall, this is the size of your master bedroom, this is the size of your kitchen like that you need to show him. Without satisfying him, you cannot construct the actual house. If you are doing, then you will lose lot of money because the customer will say that now nah, this is not the house I want. So similarly before writing any program you should draw an algorithm or a flowchart. Okay. So I hope you have understood the importance of an algorithm and the flowchart. So now let me discuss what are the symbols will be used in the flowchart. We will use a oval. I hope it is looking like a oval. Okay for representing start and stop because every flow chart should have a start and a stop they will act as a terminals okay and similarly to process anything we will use the rectangle symbol for process suppose let's take that you want to perform an arithmetic operation like a plus b C is equal to A plus B, meaning is that you are performing the addition of the values in the A and the B and the result you are storing in the variable C. So those kind of operations you will represent using the rectangle. Now you will have the input and output. This input and output you will represent using the symbol called parallelogram. Okay. Now, every algorithm will take either 0 or more inputs and every algorithm should produce at least one output. So similarly, to represent the input and output in the flowchart, you will use the symbol called parallelogram. Now you will have the decision. You need to take the decisions like if conditions, if some condition is true, you need to do certain things, else you need to do something. So those kind of decisions you will represent using the diamond symbol. Now you will have the connectors which will be represented using the circle. Okay. Now you can ask me what is the need of a connector. 
let's take that for a particular problem you have started drawing the flow chart now this flow chart has become very lengthy you could not implement it to complete in a single page then this connectors will be useful to connect the two pages okay is it clear then important thing is that the arrows they will be useful for you to represent the flow okay so we have represent the start and stop process input decision connectors and flow now the last thing is that the predefined process are the functions they will be represented using this symbol okay which is predefined process or function what is a function and how to write the user defined function all these things in a c programming language we will discuss in the coming classes now first let me discuss how to draw a flow chart for a particular problem the problem is performing the addition of two numbers and i want to store the result in some variable and then display the result to the user this is the problem i have now already we have written the algorithm for it now i want to draw the flow chart for it so now the solution is very simple because every flow chart should start and should end am i right or wrong so you will draw a oval to start and then you need to declare the variables which you will use it in the flow chart so declare variables a b c so these are the variables i am declaring i will represent using the rectangle okay is it clear now what i need to do i want to perform the a plus b now before performing the a plus b i should read the values of a and b from the user so read the values for variables a comma b now this is what it is an input operation so input operation we will represent using the parallelogram okay is it clear then what i need to do i need to perform the a plus b and store the result in the variable c so i need to write c is equal to a plus b now can you tell me what operation what symbol i need to use i need to use the process symbol using a rectangle is it clear so we have performed the c is equal to a plus b now i need to display the value of c to the user so display c i can simply write display c now this is what operation it is an output operation so i need to represent using the parallelogram okay is it clear so i am done i have started i have declared the variables a comma b comma c i have read the values for a comma b and i performed c is equal to a plus b and the result i have displayed to the user then i need to stop this is very important every flow chart should have a start and should have a stop so this is a flow chart for performing the addition of two numbers and display the result to the user so with this video i hope you have understood what is the definition of a flow chart what are the symbols will be used in the flow chart and how to draw the flow chart don't worry i will discuss two more examples in the coming videos thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day